Hello football fans and City fans. In this video I'm going to show you all the differences between the two available City home shirts for the 2023-24 season. One is labelled as the replica, that's the one on the left. The one on the right is labelled as the authentic. I'm going to show you all the differences. First of all I'm going to show you the Puma logo which is stitched and embroidered on the, uh, on the replica. Sorry. And over on the authentic, it's just a heat transfer. You get to look a little quick glimpse of that dry cell technology there as well. Over on the replica, it's a stitched and embroidered city club crest, which is much better than the authentic, in my opinion. You can see there a closer detail. Over on the authentic, it's just a heat applied transfer. It's just a shame they don't actually put any detail in the transfer, which is stupid, really, because you are paying extra money for the authentic. But that's just the way it is, I suppose. Etihad Airways on both is just exactly the same, just heat applied transfers. I'm going to show you the collar. This is the replica. M113 f is the postcode for the Etihad. The replica is made in Vietnam. See that detail there on V neck. Nice colorway. And over on the authentic. Same V neck, M113 f Both of these are size large, by the way. This is also made in Vietnam. It's a, it's a, I like, it's, a, it's a nice shirt. I'm not a City fan, but it is a nice shirt. You can see the stitch in there on the sleeve detail on the replica. I prefer the replica on this shirt for definite. We'll get a close up on this in a minute. A different shot. There we go. You can see the stitching. This is the sleeve of the Puma and over on the authentic it's heat applied you can see that with the ultra weave dry cell technology there it's rare that you get a well in my opinion this is that the authentic is worse than the replica but on this shirt I actually think it is look at the difference in the material there you can see how thin the the ultra weave is. I mean, it feels nice when you're wearing it, but it's just so thin. This is the replica. You can see the. It's not a holographic, but we'll get into that in a minute. That's the close up detail daylight shot. Flat lines at the bottom, hem, dry cell on the replica. And then over on the authentic, the dry cell weave, ultra weave runs all the way through it. And you can see there's a mesh at the side rather than the other one, just a material, elasticated that is. You can see that all important holographic sticker there. Very nice, showing it's all authentic, beautiful, nice and shiny, ultra weave. I just, I'm not a fan of the ultra weave technology, that is a, that's for damn sure. I'm just not a fan of it at all. I think it's too thin. I don't think it's, it just feels cheap. I don't even know. And it's actually more expensive. I don't get it. Anyway, we flip these shirts over. You've got the city on the back of the neck, which is embroidered and stitched. Nice daylight shot there, close up. You can see the better thicker material there on the replica. And over on the authentic, it's just heat applied again. You can see the thin material. You can see the ultra weave there. Down into the shoulder line. You can see that the stitching is on the outside of the um, authentic. Down into the bottom, nice straight lines. It's not as contoured as the other shirts available like from Nike and Adidas and all that stuff. 
flip these shirts over now for one more last look. Um, what else can I show? What else can I say? We can go down into the last shot details now. See how thick that material is on the replica. Really nice. Nice lines all the way up. Nice design. It's a very nice shirt, I must say. I'm not a City fan, but it is a nice shirt. And then over on the authentic. You can never get over how thin that is. Just look how thin it is. But I'm just not a fan of Puma, I don't think. Ultra weave, dry cell. But let's just show you. I'll just show you this now, what? Look at the difference. Nice thick material on the replica. The authentic is thinner, obviously, because it's like a heat and sports and all that related stuff. But just not a fan of the dry cell technology. But let me know what you think, guys. Links in the description where you can buy. Hit like, hit subscribe. If this video has helped you out deciding which shirt you're going to buy, if you're a City fan, let me know. Watch all the other videos that are popping up right about now. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.